In this time of great uncertainty, I've learned that entertaining myself is the most important thing that I can do. Ah! <laughs> I'm doing so good. I'm gonna win, Megan. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Yo! Yo! In your face! No, Rachel! Your face! Just kidding. Please don't do any of those things. In fact, now is a great time to practice extra generosity. Jesus asks us to love in all circumstances, whether easy or hard. Hey, Emily. I know we can't hang out right now, so I thought I'd send you a letter. Hey, Mom. Uh, what do you what do you think about checking in on the lady down the road? Hey, Grandma. Just checking in. Oh, awesome. Glad you're doing so well. Hey, Megan. I'm making lunch. Can I get you anything? However you choose to spend your time at home, I hope you feel encouraged by Jesus and that you continue to love others in wonderful ways and get creative with how you're doing it. I was reading in Romans chapter 12, verse starting in verse 10 this morning. Um, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Sometimes it's hard when we're seeing the same people all the time to remember to be loving and kind and generous but um, help your mom with chores. Be nice to your brother or sister, even when they're getting on your nerves. And care about your neighbors. Um, even with your, if you're social distancing, it's great to send letters, give them a call, ask if they need anything. Um, get creative in how you can practice hospitality and show love during this time of great anxiety for many people. Tomorrow we'll be walking through a specific activity that you can do to connect with Jesus. I hope that you join us then. Bye.